Uh, Peter from Hard Night Garage here, just getting ready for Friday's eight hour build. Um, the idea is, is to take this Chevy Bel Air and put this motor in it. It's a, a engine from a Super 80, Oldsmobile Super 88, the, the rocket motor. Uh, put one lot of these wheels on, haven't quite decided yet. I've got quite a few different options to play with. You'll notice some of them are a bit chunky, so uh, this build may potentially go off-road. But uh, we'll just have to see about that. Uh, I may or may not make some kind of roof rack or something for it. Um, that's yet to be decided on kind of how it turns out. It'll also get a repaint. So if we come down here, um, this is the one that kind of inspired it. Uh, the other ones are... Road Legends. This one I think is a Nurtle. Um, so this uh, Chev Bellier that I've painted up, uh, put a interior into, changed the wheels, and I believe I did an engine swap as well. That radiator's not really attached properly, but um, got moved around a wee bit. So we've got that one. The idea is to do that in eight hours, um, which I think is a achievable just over here i went and grabbed because uh, these models were all at a local toy museum um the little fokker if you have a look down there so this one was done on uh for luke's diecast uh customs facebook page uh it was a standard Salido volkswagen beetle uh this was a 24-hour build um that bit there hasn't needs a bit of glowing uh, but basically, I cut the wheel arches off, put these new wheels on, uh, actually did a roof chop, um, took a little bit out. Uh, that was a bit crazy, but I thought I haven't kind of done a roof chop before, so I'll, I'll see if I can do it. Um, I think it came up reasonably well. It is a rat rod, so, you know, it doesn't kind of have to be perfect. Uh, and did an engine swap. So this particular model didn't actually have a, an engine in the back of it um, to start off with. And I think it's got working suspension on the back. Steering, front wheels. Um, and then I did the decals as well. Um, some of them are stickers. Uh, but the little Fokker and uh, German Cross were um, airbrushed on using a, a stencil. Um, and I found a few uh, stickers and some truck models. Uh, for a bit of inspiration as well around the colouring of the Chevy I'm going to do, I did bring in my Chrysler 300. Um, I'm not quite sure what colour I'm going to go with. Oh, I've forgotten the model. Where is it? Okay, my Nomads around somewhere i think it might still be upstairs so i have to get my my nomad wagon down because that may be um part of what i use for this as well so the idea is to get something uh just to remind you something from this to something like this in eight hours uh so basically a, a kind of a, a standard work day um, for me at least so there we go um, that should be quite fun I bought in uh, this beast um, my Plymouth off-road runner because I'm doing a couple of other builds um, one of which is a kind of a Ken Block inspired build um, and I just wanted to look at how I'd done the front axles on this because uh, that's all scratch built that's quite a cool angle actually um, I really love this thing. One of my favourite models uh, that I've built. There's easily 100 plus hours in it. Um, because basically the only thing that's original is the body and a wee bit of the chassis. Um, I didn't swap the engine, but that was about the only other bit. Everything else is pretty much scratch built. Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, that'll be on Friday. It'll be 9 o'clock New Zealand Standard Time. I'll try and put up some kind of uh, 
you know, clock so that uh, people get an idea of what time it is wherever they are in the world. Um, love you to jump in, uh, you know, flick some comments, etc. Um, I'll try and be as interactive as I can. I've got my paint booth over here and I'm working. My handwriting is very rough, but, I'll, but I'm working out a plan of basically how I'm going to do this, the steps I need to do. Uh, a couple of people have mentioned about paint. How am I going to get it to dry? Well, I'm using these. Um, the lighting in here is not particularly brilliant, uh, but it, it is at night at the moment. So I'm using these uh, Model Air Valio paints. So they do tend to dry pretty quickly. So the general idea will be to uh, take the model, take it apart, uh, the, the body off the chassis, uh, remove the wheels. I'll then go and play with the, the wheels over there and figure out which set of wheels I'm going to use. Then I'll fully strip the body, all the chrome and the, um, you know, the lights and bits and pieces. Uh, sand it down because I'm not going to strip it. I just sand the, the paint down. Then I'm going to give it a coat of paint, uh, primer, probably the red-brown primer. Um, while I'm doing that, I can do the engine swap, start on the wheels, um, then I can grab the body back, check the wheels fit um, and that, and then uh, look at what colour I'm going to do over the patina, you know, whether it's going to be a green or a, a blue or red or, or whatever. I, I, I do very much like that blue. Um, so whatever colour I'm going to do, and then I'll start doing that. The patina is going to take a bit because I put the top colour on uh, kind of where I want it. And I may have to do some taping to get that sort of effect. Or I may um, sand it back or whatever. Um, and then I put rust effects and bits on. Uh, hopefully, uh, once I've done that, I'm then got to put all the chrome back on. Maybe a bit of weathering on the chrome. And depending on how much time I may do the interior. I possibly may do a roof rack of some kind as well, um, depending on what it is. Uh, yeah. So anyway, um, that's me. Uh, really look forward to doing this. Should be fun. Uh, keep in touch. Cheers.